hello guys and good morning and welcome back to my channel um, if you're a new subscriber hello welcome to the family thank you so much for subscribing if you like my videos please give me a big thumbs up and for the new for the guys that already been following me you know I've been starting this small little thing called small business Saturdays and so this is gonna be episode number two I'm actually filming on Tuesday like today is Tuesday um, but you guys will be seeing this on Saturday so I'm going to my hairstylist today and I'm just going to get a different uh, hair color <clears throat> and um, so anyway let me give you a little backstory of like how we met um, and how I've been going going to her ever since 2008 so I had really long hair it was past my butt it was really really long um, and as soon as I turned 18 I was just like I've had enough of this long hair um, I just want to cut it because it was so it was so long that I had to style it every single day because if not it would get tangled it would get stuck in places at school I would sit down and somehow my hair would get like wrapped up into like those like that little um, like backing of the seats and, it, and then I would get up and it would hurt because obviously it was like pulling and ripping my hair and also other people would they would see my hair down like that they would just grab on my hair um, like pull on my hair without my permission and I really didn't like that so I always had to style it so the way I would always style it um, and the and this this hairstyle would stay on all day until I got home and took it took it down was I would put my hair in a, in a long ponytail like in a high ponytail and then I would braid the rest and then I would take that braid and then I would um, put it in a bun and so I had my big old bun up here and my hair obviously was like that all day like it was styled like that all day that my head started hurting um, my shoulders my neck <clears throat> my scalp like everything just started hurting right that was I was tired of it so I told my mom and dad I'm gonna cut my hair my dad did not like that but I still did it anyways um, and so we my mom and I went to this salon it's called um, Ruth's hair salon and my brother told me to go there because they always go there and they always did a good job um, so I, we took a chance when we went to uh, that salon we walked in and it was so packed and then I said oh this this must be like a good place because I've never seen a salon this packed before and so we were sitting there and we weren't sitting there that long we were just probably there for like five minutes and then Lily comes up to us and she's like do you guys need anything done or like which one of you guys need something done and then I said oh I do I just want to cut my hair and she said okay come and sit down I sat down on her hair on her chair I told her I want to donate my hair so she was like oh that's so sweet and she put it in a braid and she cut it the you know the length that I wanted I just told her I wanted it up to my bra line and that ended up being like a foot and a half of hair um, so then I then I shipped it off right <clears throat> and that that day my mom was like I really hope this person didn't damage your hair um, I really hope your hair grows back blah blah and my mom always says if they have a bad hand your hair will be damaged and let me tell you guys that is not a myth that is not a crazy talk that is like the truth because I've met people like that before um, and by what my mom was saying that they have a bad hand it's like there's a lot of hairstylists that would go and cut your hair and your hair either does not grow back stays the same length or it's just like ruined you know and I've witnessed that from a lot of people um, I had a friend that she had long really curly hair cause she's Salvadorian and she cut she got her hair cut and her curls never came back like her length never came back it only grows up to a certain length and then it stops growing and 
she said it doesn't matter if I don't touch it for like a year or two years it does not you know like go longer than that length um so that's what my mom meant like you know I hope your hair grows back to like the same way it used to be before she touched it and I was like oh well I don't I didn't have any bad vibes or anything and like when I was in that chair we were talking like if we knew each other so she is so knowledgeable and she just wanted to get her education straight before she even wanted to touch people's hair so she went to Mexico and she studied around the same area that my mom was where she's from and so I guess that's you know they had good conversation and stuff and so she went to Mexico to study cosmetology and then she came back here and she she's a bomb.com she is so knowledgeable um, and so anyway let me tell you my hair started growing 10 times faster my hair grew a lot better um, she didn't have like a bad hand at it or anything and I loved it and so I didn't go back to her for like a year I want to say like a year or almost like two years I don't know I don't want to say exactly but it was a while since I didn't you know go see her and so I wanted to donate my hair once more and so my hair was not that long because I kept like trimming my hair um, so in order for me to donate my hair I had to cut it into um, into a bob and before I even did that I um, I asked her, I said, do you think, like, I want to donate my hair again. Do you think that a bob would look good on me? And she was just like, you know, she's looking at me and my face structure and everything. And she was just like, oh, yeah, a bob would look good on you. So I cut a bob, eight inches of hair, donated my hair again. I liked the bob for a while. So when it was growing back, <clears throat> I went back to the salon that she used to work at. And she wasn't available that day. All right, guys, so I made it to her place. I'm here. Um, I'm just waiting for this other person to leave, um, and then I'll be walking in. But I would, like I was saying um, before my phone cut off, it got, it got too hot because the sun was, like, directly on my phone, so I stopped recording um, just so it won't damage the battery. So <clears throat> anyway, like I said, I tried to go to another hairstylist, and this lady just messed up my bob that I liked so much um, this side was shorter than the other one like it literally looked like if this was my bob like right here right and then this one was like or I want to say literally like this like it was still touching my shoulder or like my collarbone and so she did she knew she did a bad job because she styled my hair a way that I wasn't going to notice right then and there but when I got home I parted my hair and obviously you can see the difference so the next day I went back and I was like you're gonna fix my hair and I'm not gonna pay you for it I even tipped this lady she did not deserve to get tipped um, so she tried to do it or she tried to fix it she made it worse I never went back and that's the last time that I ever tried to go to another hairstylist and so I've been going to her for more than 10 years and I recommend her 110% so since this pandemic started she has um, started working from her home and let me tell you it's so cute it's so cozy um, it's so comfortable in there the decor is so nice and simple I mean it's just it's so nice and she will not overlap um, appointments so it makes you more comfortable because with those this whole pandemic you know going on you don't want to be in like crowded places you don't want to be in a place where there's a lot of people obviously it's crowded places <laughs> um um so when you come to her it's either uh just you and her or if you bring somebody else with you then it's just you guys but no other person will come into um into a session with you guys because she doesn't overlap so yeah she works from her from her home she um you can contact her on facebook through messenger and all you have to do is like you know ask her hey do you have this day available on this time and then she'll tell you and if you have like a stylist um 
like a style in your mind and you you want to know if she does if she can do it all i do is screenshot it and then i send it to her and then she can tell me yes or no i can't do that or yes i can do that um or yes it will look good on you or no it won't look good on you she has she is not going to play you because you know a lot of hairstylists just so they can get their money just so they can do a job they say everything looks good on you and let me tell you she would not she would not do that if something if she knows that something's gonna look so bad on you she'd rather not do your hair like she'd rather not even touch it even if you're like come on i want to do it i want to do it she's like no because i know it's gonna look bad and at the end of the day you're gonna be upset at me and i'm not going to do it and she won't do it which i respect that so much um so yeah so i'm getting my hair colored this is how my hair looks let me get you guys out of here this is how my hair looks uh she these were highlights from like two years i want to say and i got my hair cut twice eight inches cut off and so the products that she uses are like the bomb.com because it has not faded okay guys so i'm just now walking to her place That's how it looks um all you have to do is just go down these stairs things and you just open the thing Welcome again. Um, I'm in the car driving. I have to go get uh, things for my sister at the store. But this is my hair color. What do you guys think? I wish I had like I would had taken footage before I got in the car, but I was just, you know, I was too tired. I need to go get some coffee, so I won't like go to sleep. Um, but yeah, how do you guys like it? I like it. It's something different. Um, it's very like fall like um, very like festive <laughs> it's very different for me very 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 different for me guys um, this is my very first time ever changing my hair color um, the only thing I've ever done was um, highlights and that was about it I never actually changed like my whole like hair color um, so it's it's like burgundy um like in like between like browns and reds and stuff she did tell me that at the very tips since i did have um those those really light highlights um like you guys saw earlier um that they were going to be really really light and so they they are light and they came out um like when i look at it they look like a really um like hot pink um but in like in a different light um you can sort of say it's like a slight hint of purple and for those that know me <laughs> for those that know me know that I don't like the color purple I think the color purple to me it's so ugly um and I know it's not purple but my, I guess my paranoia or me or whatever it sort of kind of looks like purple but I, I know it's red um, and so which made it pink but I love it um, and I don't have nothing against those people that love the color purple um, you guys can like whatever you guys like but my favorite color is pink I love pink I used to have pink cars uh, pink rooms and everything so that's why my daughter's room is pink um, but yeah guys I like my color how, how do you guys like it um, does it like go well with my skin tone I like it this is very very different um, but it was time for a change 
Um, shout out to my husband. He's the one that chose the color because I was originally just going to go with like more highlights. And um, he was just like, why don't you go with something different, like something red, like reddish. And so we came across a picture and I was like, what about this? And he was just like, yes, that one, done deal. And I was like, okay, let's do it. Um, so my hairstylist said that she was gonna go a little slow on my colors because since I've never colored my hair before, um, like a different color that she didn't want to damage it. So she said she was gonna turn, um, start slow. And so if I like the color and I wanted to continue with the same color, um, then she said that she can add to it. Um, and that way she wasn't going to damage it or anything. But, you know, she has very good judgment because she did this all free-handed. And um, she added, like, more color to, to my hair when she washed it out and everything and it looks amazing i love it guys this is why i recommend her 110 percent but um yeah tell me guys in the comments down below what you guys think about my new hair color and if you like it um also let me know and yeah i will be linking her information down below um she like i said she works in the or she lives in Old Bridge. Um, I'm, I'm gonna let you guys contact her through a messenger, like Facebook Messenger. I don't want to give her number out. She'll give it to you if she's comfortable with it. Um, but I, like me personally, I'm not going to give her phone, her phone number out. But yeah, I'm here. I'm gonna get some coffee because I don't want to go to sleep. But um, yeah, hope you guys like my video. Give me a big thumbs up if you did. If you are new and you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here with me. Um, and so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. So I just wanted you guys to see how smooth and shiny my hair is. And, like, look at all these beautiful colors in there. Okay, so this is a clip of my niece. And this is my hairstylist. And this is my niece. So, my niece got her hair done by someone else. And let's just say that this person did a horrible job. My niece wanted natural, dirty blonde hair. And then she got, like, this ugly, yellow, orangey hair. Um, there's a picture. It was just a disaster. Her hair doesn't even look nice. Like, this is a picture right after she left that other person and this is a picture of what she got with my hairstylist like the pictures are proof that she does such a wonderful job please go check her out all her information will be linked down in the description box below anybody that lives local locally in the woodbridge virginia area dell city stafford fairfax wherever wherever in virginia please come check her out she is the best ever so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.